Uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it's me, it's G, it's DMC, the undefeated, undisputed, YouTube champion, that's right, it's the Maverick, Mark Daniels, and I'm here with another edition, this is episode 2 of Showdown Sundays, if you didn't watch the first episode, please do it, and also be sure to like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for more, I'm going to be doing these every Sunday, and today we're doing another mono team. I love monotypes is one of my favorites. I'm not the most competitive battler. I know a decent amount. There's some things I'm obviously unclear about. You'll probably hear that throughout the video where I question myself on things that might seem obvious to you because you guys are probably more uh, professional battlers than I am. I'm just I'm casual at best at the moment. I'd like to get into the competitive battle scene. I just never did. I have plenty of time to do so. Maybe at some point I will. But this time right now, guys, we have the mono fire team. I'm going to kind of explain why I picked some of the Pokemon I picked. So, Volcanion, to me, is an obvious one. If I go get a water Pokemon, he has water absorb. It's a very easy to switch in, to take some water damage, heal up off of it. It's really the only answer in the fire teams that I can use. That's like, oh yeah, you're a water type, let me just let me just soak that all in. Uh, Torkoal is my defensive tank. He's also my rapid spinner. If you guys watched my fighting one, I was missing a spinner on my team. That's something I, I should have thought of ahead of time and I didn't it slipped my mind. This time I got a spinner. He can also set up his own stealth rocks. He's got toxic to kind of stall out if I need to, and he's got lava plume holding leftovers as well, so that he can heal off that stuff. So then we got Camrupt, who's the other side of that. He's my special defensive tank. And I've thought about going mega with him and I might at some point. But he also has stealth rocks, Willow Wisp for the steel matchup, just in case my toxic is gonna be kind of you know it won't work at all. Obviously, it's still Pokemon. You got the love from Earth Power. The Meg I decided to go with is Houndoom. I could have went Charizard, but I didn't necessarily really want two Fire Flyings um, on my team. And obviously, I didn't have to use Moltres if that was the case. I could just use regular Houndoom. I don't know. I just really wanted to use Mega Houndoom. Um, we'll see how he works out. He's a nasty plotter, so he's going to be uh, doing some sweeps potentially. He's got Fire Blast, Dark Pulse, Taunt for those who are also going to be trying to set up against me. Uh, so we have Moltres for the ground resistance. He can obviously take ground moves for free. That's for my ground weakness because obviously fire Pokemon are re weak against, you know, ground types. And on the other end, Camerupt also takes electric moves for free, uh, which will affect Volcanion and Moltres, as well as he can also take some rock damage to a certain degree. Um, we also have Chandelure. He can take fighting and normal moves for free. Uh, I do have some sort of a fighting weakness and Houndoom and Camera up, so he's going to be good for that. And he's also really strong. Uh, he's got choice specs. He's going to be knocking out a lot of Pokemon. So that's kind of my choices here, guys. That's why I picked who I picked. He'll also, with Energy Ball, if he outspeeds, he can take out people like Swampert, Quagsire, and, and, and such like that. So that is why I picked the people I picked. And let's go ahead and get ready to our first match, guys. I'm excited. I tested the team just a little bit. Of course, we started to get to the water team. This is going to be tough for us. Um... Let me think about this for a second. I'm gonna go. Hmm, I'm gonna go camera up, and then I'm gonna switch immediately into Volcanion, <laughs> taking the water absorb. All right. So she too could have water absorb. I could go for the sludge bomb and hope for the poison, and it could switch in Ludicolo for some reason. So maybe it'll get the super effects. I'm gonna go ahead and hit sludge bomb. Um, ice Beam, I resist it. He could freeze me, though. Hit the Sludge Bomb. Don't get the Poison off. That's okay. It's a 30% chance, so, you know, we get a couple more of these, we might be able to poison it. That would definitely help us a lot. Now, this Vaporeon might be special defensive, perhaps. I'm not entirely sure. He's trying to get the freeze off. I get the Poison. That is awesome. That's huge. I'm going to go ahead and hit Sludge Bomb again. I doubt he would switch to Ludicolo now at this point since I am hitting Sludge Bomb. But I'm just going to hit it anyways. Um, he knows that I have leftovers, so it's not to maybe trick them into thinking I have you know, any type of specs going on. but uh, Or choice items, I should say. Choice specs. I'm not sure who's going to put it in there. Uh, maybe Gastrodon for the ground typing. Yep. Uh... Water ground. Um, I'm just gonna go for it. I say should be neutral. Infestation. He must have predicted the chandelier switch in maybe. I don't know, but I'm okay with it. 
Steam eruption again, maybe I'll hit the burn. I got the burn. He hits recover, but the burn's going to neutralize that just a little bit, but he's got leftovers. Hmm. I'm trapped and I can't switch because he... Okay. I see what's going on now. Earth power. That was really hard, but I'm going to be able to take the Gastrodon out. Maybe? Yes. Okay. We're good. So, Volcanion came in huge for this matchup so far. Here comes Ludicolo. I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. Maybe get the Poison. No Poison. He's the Teeter Dance. Confuses. I'm not sure. He can go for a Water Move pretty easily here. Thinking the switch out, but I don't think he'll do that. He might... I'm not sure what he's going to go for, to be honest. So, I'm just going to go ahead and switch out, though. I'm going to switch to Camerupt. He goes for the Leech Seed. I'm going to set up Stealth Rocks. He's probably going to predict the switch into Volcano, so he might not use a Water move. He does Rain Dance. He's setting up for his Water Team. Um, obviously, Tentacruel, I think, can wrap, I'm pretty sure he can wrap the spin. In fact, 100% positive he can. So that's what, what I might do. I'm going to hit the Will-O-Wisp. Hits a Teeter Dance. I have myself in Confusion. So it looks like he's just a staller. I'm going to go Will-O-Wisp again. See what he does. Ice Beam, okay. I'm going to have to switch out here. So he's got Ice Beam for sure. Teeter Dance. He's got Rain Dance. And he's got Leech Seed. So that's a set. So I should be able to safely go to Moltres. Although the Ice Beam will be neutral. I'm going to go for Hurricane. 1% hit. And I'm confused. That kind of sucks. So the Teeter Dance hits 99% health. Man. And it doesn't confuse him. Ah, uh, shoot. I could go for the Roar. I'm going Fire Blast. He f okay, he's confused. I hit the Fire Blast. The reason why Fire Blast is because it has a higher percentage of hitting than Hurricane. Hurricane has about 70%. Uh, accuracy, Fire Blast is 85%. I do Fire Blast, we kill him. Alright, let's see here. Seismitoad, I am confused. He could go for a Water move or a, a Rock move for that matter. I don't necessarily need Moltres against anything else at this point. I'm going to go for Hurricane. I hit it. Do I confuse him? No, that's fine though. Hits the knockoff. I lose my Life Orb, that's fine. Um, I'm going to go for Roost. I might hit it. I'm confused, though, so I might just knock myself out. We'll see. Like I said, at this point, I don't need Moltres in this matchup. I don't want to lose him if I can keep him. Switching in just puts another guy at risk that I don't want, I think. Because he gets Seismitoad, I could use uh, Chandelier's Energy Ball. Uh, this confusion should be going away here pretty soon, I would imagine. Jeez. See what he's got planned here. He might switch into Keldeo. Goes for the Drain Punch again. I'm going to go for another Roost. He's going for the Poison. I'm going to go for a Hurricane again. Gets confused. Awesome. Perfect. All right. I'm going to go for Hurricane again. Tentacruel comes out. Hits the Hurricane. I'm going to go for it one more time. He may just Rapid Spin and get rid of the Hazards. Never mind, I'm, I'm fast. I just kind of assumed I was going to miss. I've hit a lot of Hurricanes this match. And that's game. Good game, sir. Or madam. Alright. Main menu. Let's go ahead and do another one. That was fun. Against the Water Team. That's... That's crazy. I, I was I was kind of surprised I won that one, to be completely honest. All right, so we're going to get to Steel Team. I'm going to start with Torkoal. 
because I can rapid spin whatever uh, hazards he throws out, because I'm sure he will. And I can set up my own hazards. And I'm super effective against all of them, obviously. Um, he can start off something with some sort of ground move. But I, I am defensively ready for that. So I'm going to go ahead and throw up Stealth Rocks and see what he does with his uh, Ferrothorn. Pretty brave to start with Ferrothorn, though. I will say that. So I'm Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go for Lava Plume, knock it out, and then I'm going to... Well, I thought I would just knock him out right away. But he throws the spikes down as well. All right. Burn and Rapid Spin might take it out. So I'm just going to go for it. Iron Barbs, of course. Gyro Ball. Burn should take him out, I hope. Oh, uh, the leftovers. Uh, that's my, my mistake there. I'll go for Lava Plume again. He'll probably just throw one down. Okay, that's good. Alright, so he's out. I got rid of his hazards already, so that's huge. Of course, he's got other Pokemon that could throw down some hazards. Quite possibly. We'll see what happens here. I not too worried. Although he could come in and set up a aggron. It's probably a mega aggron, I would imagine. I'm gonna go for lava plume anyways. See what he does. Goes for the earthquake. Okay, lava plume did quite a bit of damage. I could potential. I could potentially live a hit here. I'm just going to switch to Moltres, Protect, and Earthquake. Awesome. And then I'm going to go for Fire Blast. It should knock him out if it hits. I mean, it's 85% accuracy. And if he switches, it could potentially take out anything he switches into. So, And I am Life Orbed. So it does a lot of damage. Yeah, sorry, man. I know... It sucks going against, that's the only bad thing about mono teams is uh, you go against a weakness, it can be kind of brutal, but that's almost kind of half the fun for me because you can kind of try to prepare for it. Alright, we got rid of the Bisharp. Scizor could possibly go for Bullet Punch or Sword Dance here. Goes for the bullet punch. Probably the best play you can make there, honestly, just because it has priority. And I chances are I outspeed anything that, that he has at this point. Good game. He left, I can couldn't type GG, but that's alright. Yeah, it's just it's tough sometimes going against, like I said, I mean he's a Steel type and he's going to get some fire type. So this is a flying type mono team. Very cool. Hmm. I could go Torkoal. Because I'm defensive against this stuff. But. You know what? I'm going to go Torkoal. He starts with Thunderous. Electric flying. I'm going to go Stealth Rocks. Let's see what he does. Could just go for an electric move. Goes for the Volt Switch. Brings out Salamence. With Salamence, might start starting up some uh, some Dragon Dances, which is very dangerous for me. I'm going to go for Toxic. So now I'm in a very bad spot here. Completely honest. Uh, I'll just hit Lava Plume, I guess. I don't know. He resists it. Of course, I, I forgot dragons are just fire. Um, <laughs> I'm in a tough spot, guys. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I really don't. Best thing I could do is just try to lift some hits overall and just let the toxic wear him down. I'm not going to outspeed him with anything. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to bait the earthquake. With Moltres, just to get an extra turn of Toxics on him. It worked, okay, so the Toxics is going to wear him down even more. Perfect. So now it gets to the point, I can sacrifice a Pokemon. 
I don't know if I want to sacrifice Moltres, because he's going to go for something, and it's going to take something out. I don't know. I don't want to give up anything, really. Is Volcanion the best thing to get rid of at this point? I think so, unfortunately. He goes, he's got Roost? Ah, oh, no. I should have went for an attack, guys. He went for Dragon Claw, and I live it. Wow. I missed, though. Oh, no. Well, if he goes for Dragon Claw, we trade. If he goes for Roost, interesting play. Very interesting play. Okay. Whew, that was close. I thought that was going to be a Salamence sweep. I cannot believe Volcanion lived that hit. I mean, he's got high defense, but man. It looks like he missed Clay. It happens to all of us. <laughs> Comes Halucha. It could be a substitute Halucha, similar to what I ran on my fighting team. Um, I'm just going to go for Steam Eruption and see what he does. He goes for Sky Attack. That's interesting. He misses, though. That, that sucks. And I get a crit. Oof, that's hacks. <laughs> yeah, right. Where's the hacks? I know. I'm sorry, dude. I'm really sorry that it happens. It happens to the best of us, man. Um, Pidgeot. I'm going with Steam Eruption has a better accuracy rate. Goes for the Hurricane, hits the Hurricane. Very good. Um, I could go Camerupt. I'm going to go camera up. I don't have a, a rock move. But I can resist some of that uh, flying. I'm not going to go Will-O-Wisp because I'm sure he's not defensive in any way. I hit the burn. Them haxes though. Because he would have lived. He probably would have uh, lived a second one. He got Roost though, so that's okay. <laughs> and I hit a crit. I'm really sorry, man. Uh, crits and burns and wow, I'm just getting all, I'm just getting all kinds of lucky here, guys. He's gonna go for roost again, I think. I could probably bring something in and just take it out. My chandelier is quicker than my chandelier might be quick enough to. It goes for hurricane. I did not expect that. Oh wow. Um, wow, okay. Goes for the defog. Good play. Hit the fire blast. Now, I still have camera up. He doesn't know my camera up has the, uh, has the rocks, though. He does not know that. Now, my chandelier is really strong, and he, he's very fast. I don't know if I outspeed this thunderous, though. I don't. I didn't think I did. It's okay. I'm gonna throw in camera up again, and I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna throw up some stealth rocks, and I'll will o wisp. Let's see what he does. Dark pulse. I could switch into Houndoom and take a Dark Pulse hit. Problem is, I think he can take me out otherwise, because my Houndoom's not necessarily bulky. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep camera up in. One HP left. Wow. One percent, I should say. Burn's gonna go through. I'm gonna keep camera up up, so I'm just gonna throw in Houndoom. He hits, hits a crit though. Um. I could go Dark Pulse as well. Accuracy is better. I don't outspeed him though. I resist that hit. He must be banded. Or not banded, but uh, he's got a choice item specs. So he's got Altaria. And it's not a Mega Altaria because his Pidgeot was banned. He's got Skarmie. I'm going to go Fire Blast. I 
I'm pretty sure he resists both my moves regardless of what I do here. Um, I am afraid he's going to go Dragon Dance. So I'm just going to taunt him. Goes for the Moon Blast. I'm going to go Fire Blast. I missed. Hits the Dragon Pulse. Alright. I think Moltres should be fine here. I say that. <laughs> Maybe I should go Hurricane. Try to go for Confusion. Nah, I'll just go Fire Blast. I should have went Hurricane. Taunt ends. Okay, I'm in a scary spot. I gotta go Hurricane. I gotta hope for the Confusion. Doesn't confuse him. Fire Blast should take him out. And that's game. Good game, sir. I went Fire Blast because, again, the accuracy on Fire Blast is higher than Hurricane. Let's go again. Let's go again, guys. I'm having fun. Um, always have fun doing these. Okay, we're going to get to normal team. Again, I like Twerkle. Starting off here. We'll start things off with Stealth Rock. Actually cancel that if I can. Because he might have uh, Magic Coat. So I'll just go Lava Plume. See what he does. Goes Dark Void. Makes me fall asleep. Very interesting. Hits me with the Stealth Rock. I'll go Lava Plume. It doesn't look like he's going for Magic Coat. I'm going to go ahead and hit my Stealth Rocks. I'm going to go another Lava Plume. I'm going to go Rapid Spin. Makes me go to sleep. Alright. So now he's got rocks. He's got the webs. Very interesting play there. Um, now, Mioletta is psychic. It might go for a psychic type move. I'm going to try and wake it. goes for substitute. Still asleep. This is very scary. I'll go Houndoom. His chances are he's going to calm mine at this point, but I got to... Man, this is a tough decision, honestly. I'm going Houndoom. I have to. I have to get rid of that calm... I, I have to get rid of the substitute at the very least. Um... Got special defense though, so it's gonna be tough. Focus blast misses. I break the substitute at the very least, which is huge for me. Um, he's gonna go for it again. Misses. I get very lucky here. Dark pulse. That special defense coming in huge form. I'm gonna go chandelier. I could take the fighting move for free. Excuse me. Um, I'll go Shadow Ball. He's a normal type. Ah, that's my bad. Ah, that's my bad. Yeah, he's my bad. Ah, uh, shoot. Camera up's coming in. <laughs> this is not good. I'm in a very bad position here. Um, Mioletta hits the Psy Shock. I'm in a very bad spot, guys. I do not see myself winning this one. He's going to go for the Focus Blast again. Hits it. I think he's got this one in the bag. Well played. We'll go for Roar. Yeah, I didn't think I'd... I assumed he was out, out speed me, and he's a lot stronger, obviously. Yeah, it's game. It's alright. It's alright. Not a big deal. Um, let's go Steam Eruption. Doesn't matter. See, I knew he was going to go for Calm Mind. I should have. 
I don't know what I should have done. Alright, it's a normal type. I'll just go fire blast, it don't matter. <laughs> he's got me he's got me beat, that's cool. I was trying to think of what I could have done differently, really. I had Twerkle out. He was asleep, which you know, that's okay. Swapped out. I don't know. Maybe I should have went for the Taunt on Houndoom instead of the uh, Dark Pulse. But he still had the power up anyways. I don't know. I don't think it really mattered to be honest. I'm going to say GG, sir. Well played. Oh, I wake up. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Torkoal's coming back for the revenge. Alright. Let's do another one, guys. Let's do it. I'm going against a grass team. Obviously, would benefit me here. I'm going to go ahead and go Twerkle again. I like starting off with Twerkle. Get them rocks up. He's got his toxic spikes up. I can rapid spin that, but I'm going to go ahead and hit Lava Plume. <clears throat> He's got Black Sludge. Goes for the Leech Seed, but misses. That's pretty lucky. Although, I'm not entirely sure, but I think Rabbit Spin gets rid of that, too. So, could be wrong on that. Go ahead and start the timer here. Alright, so here comes Craterly, which is a Rock Grass type. I'm going to go ahead and hit Rabbit Spin. It does get rid of Leech Seed. I thought it did. Stockpile. Alright, so clearly. I can toxic him. His defense is up, so I'm just gonna toxic. Hmm, what should I do? He's going to keep stockpiling. Obviously, I'm going to do no damage with that. He's probably got recover. I think he can win recover. I'm trying to think of what I can do here. I can try to confuse him. Or I can roar. I'm going to roar if I can. I should outspeed. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's not good. Uses rest. Very good. Has a chest o barrier. comes chest knot. I'm gonna go for Roost. Should outspeed Chestnut. Use a spiky shield. That's fine. Roost again. Goes for the Leech Seed. I'm gonna go for the Hurricane. Protects. Very good. Leech Seed. Hurricane again. Takes him out. Very cool. Go for the fire blast here. Hits the dragon pulse. Very interesting. Hits the crit. I don't think the crit would have mattered, but I do hit the crit. Same life orb. He's probably going to go for mock punch. I'm going to go chandelier. Go fire blast. Let's go for it again before he starts powering up. There's a stockpile. Let's go for it again. It should take him out if it hits. Which it misses, of course. Goes for rest. That sucks. Well, he can't wake up this time, so I'm going to go Moltres. 
we'll go Roar again. Bringing out the Shaman. Shaman could potentially outspeed me. I'm going to Roost. Go for the Roost again. Hits the Toxic. Let's see here. Go for the Fire Blast. So now it's going to be Cradley. So I don't know what I'm going to do against Cradley. <laughs> hmm. You know what I can do? I'll switch to Houndoom. I'll Taunt. Go for a nasty plot. Has the ancient power and a crit on top of it. We'll go dark pulse. Has the ancient power, that's perfectly fine. Taunt ends, which kind of sucks. Um, I might be able to take it out with Chandelure here with a shadow ball. I'm going to go fire blast. And that's game. Good game, sir. Well, guys, that was Showdown Sunday. Um, <laughs> looks like the cow got created by the hacks. She had a lot of lucky. Yeah, it's all right. Anyways, guys, I will talk to you guys later next week. I'll do another one, of course. And until next time, guys, in the immortal words of Gary Oak, I will see you later. Chumps, peace.